Hey everyone, we are now in the lesson 4, monitoring project schedule. It will update the project we created in lesson 3. Want to know how to create the schedule? Please check in my channel, lesson 3, creating new project schedule. This is a comprehensive tutorial, one hour tutorial, how to create a schedule. So, we'll update this schedule 8001 of the EPS XYC and housing project, the 8001 project. But before we update this project, we need first to copy this full project, then we will assign this the copy of this project as a baseline. And prior to that, we need to adjust the project plan date. In the project de project details below, select the date tab. This one and select this button and select June 1 as a date and click select the date to date just select again this button select June 1 and select then to Just the date. the date. Let's schedule again. Click on the menu. Click food schedule. The current date, the date is June 1. Click next schedule. You can see there are yellow line here. It means that this is the date. From June 26 to June, we need to adjust back to this project data date, project start date commence on June 1. Let's schedule again for information. Now, next move. Next move is to create a copy of H001 project. In the project tab, so select H001, right click, copy, then right click again, paste. Copy project options dialog box will appear. Click OK. WPS copy WPS options dialog box. Just click OK. Copy copy activity options dialog box. Looks off will appear. Just click OK. Yeah, the H001 one will be copied. This is the snapshot or complete copy of the H001. So now we will create a baseline. The menu, select project, contain baseline, then select 8001. Select 8001, click add. Create another project, just add new baseline dialog box will appear. Just select the convert another project to a new baseline project. The current project. Click OK. And select copy one. Click 0, 0 dash. Click this button. OK. Sorry. I think I need to create close first this one. Before we create a baseline. <coughs> only one project let's 
great baseline project in the min menu select project maintain baseline the maintain baseline dialog box click add the add new baseline dialog box select this one convert another project new baseline of the current project click ok and select the copied one of H001-1 and click add select as you can see H the copy of H001 the baseline the H001 dash one is the baseline of H001 and as you can see since we converted the copied one the H001 dash one it did not reflect here in the project you wish to restore that just click this baseline and click restore let me show you again click restore are you sure you want to unlink the selected baseline from the current project and make them separate project? Like yes. Copy one. Back. <clears throat> will show up again in the PS project window. The project window. Again, a baseline four for this one, make it three or four. Project menu in the menu bar, select project, maintain baseline. Click add, convert another project or no baseline the project. Okay, select it zero zero one copy. Click set add and it will make a copy of this three copies let's click add save a copy of a current new baseline click ok click again add again click ok click add again click ok and close this baseline, we will utilize this baseline in monitoring projects. And click close. If you wish to delete or if you mistakenly add various copy of the baseline, project as a baseline just click select the uh, baseline you want to delete just click select this one delete click yes oh, deleted one yes let us add a bin for b3 okay click close we will continue this topic monitoring public schedule uh, we will update after creating the baseline assigning the baseline we will update the schedule the activities of the schedule we will run it and we will compare the updated schedule into the original schedule so I will show it to you in the next topic if you have some questions comments that type you can type it in the comment section or you can email me in the email address shown in the screen or you can message me in the messenger shown thank you for viewing thank you for watching this video and see you in the next lesson
and tutorials, click subscribe.